Hello everyone and welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in. If you guys would be so kind as to please hit the like button and subscribe and while you're doing that I am making sure everything is running smoothly which it looks like it is. So we are all set. Awesome. How is everyone doing today? As you can tell by the title of today's video, going to be attempting to recreate Lightning McQueen's save from the first Cars movie in the final race of the year, the overtime race, whatever you want to call it, sudden death, when Chick gets into Lightning when he's trying to pass, he goes through the infield grass, and thanks to the moves he learned from Doc Hudson during his drifting lesson out in the desert, was able to drift through the spin in the infield and come out ahead of both Doc and, or, uh, Chick and the King. Six, As you can see right here. I'll watch this real quick. So Lightning's trying to make a move to the inside. Once the Chick gets into him. And the King. And the Queen is sliding through the infield. Turns left. Or I should say right. Can't even get my lefts and rights straight. Accelerates through the spin. And it looks like it's coming out of turn two onto the back stretch. All right, thank you to Just Dent for the capture and to Pixar for the original capture. <laughs> Better not be dropping frames. Are you kidding me? All right. It's not too many yet. Haven't had that issue in a while. Let's adjust some settings here real quick. Alright, I think we're good now. I think. Whoa, that was scary. Haven't had had, had that issue in a while. Oh, it looks like we got more coming. Why is it doing this? I don't know. Hold on. Technical difficulties, please stand by. I think we're good. Alright. Haven't had that issue in a while. So let me know if there's any more drop frames going on in the stream. Alright, so we got a look at what we're trying to recreate. Here's the usual Lightning McQueen paint scheme we're using for the Cup 90 mod in this game. And as uh, clarified before, it looks like Los Angeles International Speedway is basically a fictional version of Auto Club, which at the time was California Speedway. So here we have California circuit 2006 because that's right around when the, the movie came out. And here we have the Piston Cup, which is just uh, the King and Chick. And without further ado, let's get into the race and try some drifting. I'm just pausing just for one second just to make sure. Alright, 1148. As long as it stays at 1148 and we don't have any more drop frames, I'll be happy. Whew! Wipe the sweat off my bro after that. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, did the chat freeze already? Well, alright. Jeez, this one ain't off to a good start, is it? Five minutes in, chat's frozen already. Dropping some frames. I haven't had any frame droppage issues since I switched to the Ethernet cable. Alright, it's unfrozen now, right? There we go. Alright, so let's try it actually in this first turn, because with the way the track settings are, I think we might be 
up to speed for the most part by the time we're getting to the middle of turn two. Alright, so I'm going to try to have Chick hit me. Oh, that didn't work out. I'll try drifting on my own. No! I could get a good practice one there. Oop. Nope. Try that again. And just a heads up, I already did tweak the track grip settings and track grass grip settings a little bit to what I... I think might be good for this reenactment, so yes, I have edited this track a little bit. This is also the same track I used for the King's Flip reenactment. Go check that one out if you haven't seen it. Hasn't happened for probably a hundred streams, but I still get paranoid that and I forget to switch my microphone on at the start of it. I always try to hit the hotkey and switch the microphone on, or at the same time the hotkey to switch over to the game screen from the wait screen. I have to turn the difficulty up a little bit. I turn them way down just so the AI would be really easy to work with for this one, but they're like going almost too slow. That didn't work. Damn it, chick. Maybe I can catch up. Go to Lightning's point of view. Let's see if I can catch up in a lap or two. So it'll just be faster to do this than to just hit the restart button. Yeah, with the difficulty turned way down and the track rip up, I'm gaining on them like crazy. Alright, so next lap I'll have caught them, not this upcoming one. Unless I try doing this out of turn 4, which I guess I could try. I have the grip turned up to like 1.3 or 1.4, somewhere around there. Enough to make the control of the car feel like way more arcade-ish, as you can see right there. But not so much to where I'm just tipping and flipping over the second I get sideways. Alright, I guess I'll gonna try this coming out of uh, turn two, this next lap. I'm going to bump Chick a little bit so he can get a little bit closer to the king. trying the drift. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Save it, save it. No. Into the wall. Do I need to downshift during the drift to get more spin going for the tires? I just stayed in fourth and tried gassing it, but I guess that would make sense if I need to down downshift. Into the wall goes McQueen. His day is done. That's not what we want. Because remember, at the end of the drift, he needs to slide on through and power in front of both of them. He needs to come out in front of both of them. Alright, so I believe, yeah, the king was in front, and Chick and Lightning were just behind him. Now obviously I'm not going to be able to get the two AI cars to sit there and just go spinning and fishtailing like they were the whole time in the movie. So uh, in this video I'm just mainly going for McQueen's Drift, since I don't have that sort of control over what the AI cars do. As long as I can have the right cars all be bunched up together. And for those of you that are new to this video and new to this uh, game, I'm wondering how come Chick's car looks a little different and mainly the King's car doesn't have his Superbird style. It's only because game limitations I can't have those three types of body styles driving all at once. And this is the 
No. Oops. Do you know what that looked like? It looked like a Danica in Kansas in 2012 or 13, whatever year that was, when she tried to wreck a uh, castle. That looked like her spin and overcorrect into the wall. Maybe that's a can I recreate I need to do. Oh, that one was a fail. Alright, I'm pausing for five seconds. This God damn it, we got more drop frames, really. Why is it doing this now? Oh, I know why. I know exactly why. I know exactly why. I'm trying to upload something right now. Here, I'm canceling the upload. Hold on. I know this screen is just paused for you guys. I'm just checking on something. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Let me check something. Awesome. All right. Never mind. I canceled the upload, so we should be good now. That's probably why we are having dropped frames. I didn't even think about that. Stupid Cody. Alright. That should be the end of the technical difficulties, barring a occasional frozen chat. I just have to switch over to the chat window and just hit F5. Sorry about that. But given that minor setback mentioning uploading videos, I should take this time to mention that at 4 p.m. Uh, Jesus Christ, I can't talk and drive. 4 p.m. Central Time, my time, so in about 2 hours and 45 minutes, I will be having a very special upload coming. Uh, I need to focus on this first and I'll tell you. Oops. Yes, I know I didn't get hit by Chick. I mean, I knew that one was busted from the start. That was mainly just a practice run. God. Gosh darn it. Need to focus more on doing this. I was trying to get bumped by Chick there. Then get sent down to the infield and crank the wheel to the right and try drifting. I've actually been doing some dirt racing and eye racing. I guess coincidentally, subconsciously to help practice for this stream. But anyway, back to the upload. So after this, this uh, video right now, this live stream happens to be my 499th live stream slash upload just video in general video period the 500th will be a compilation of every single reenactment i have done to date 60 total 61 including the king's wreck all in chronological order edited together just the edited reenactments the video is an hour and 20 minutes long and that is my 500th video that i be given to you guys. If there's any new viewers to my videos that haven't seen all my reenactments, if you want to watch that, then you can get caught up and see all the ones I have and haven't done yet. All in order of when they happened in real life. Alright, back to the drift. Oh, that one sucked. I might need to turn the track grip up a little bit. So yeah, an hour and 20 minute long compilation of all the reenactments I've done. To date. I'm very excited with how it turned out. And, I should say 58 total, 59 including the King's Wreck, because there are two 
bonus never before seen clips in there that are work in progress edits from reenactments I've just been doing on my own time that you'll have to watch the video and see which ones and like I've done in uh, all my previous reenactment compilations every single reenactment all 61 is listed down in the description in numbered order with a timestamp with the year and race name that the incident or moment took place in and trust me that took a while to list all that and timestamp all that together <laughs> all right back to the drift i'll stop rambling about future videos all right so i need to get all right pretend bumped oh darn it i think i might need to turn the track grip up a little bit more because with the physics though with this game is I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sit there and drift in the grass for that long and still come out and save it without tweaking the grip up to kind of an arcadish level and yeah that upload will be coming in about two hours and 45 minutes 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, CST. Five if you're on the East Coast, four if you're in the Central, three if you're in Mountain Time, and two if you're out on the West Coast. I'm sorry, everywhere else in the world, I don't know your time zones off the top of my head. Still trying to... Uh, think of what 501 is going to be. Unless I just go back to something normal for then. Check needs to get a little bit better jump. We're falling too far back behind the king already in the first turn. Alright, just a pretend bump by Chick there. <laughs> Darn it. Overcorrected again. That's what people do to me all the time in I racing, and I get angry at them. Except I'm only doing it in a video game with AI. Oops. Where's the better view? There's no great view. There's no great TV cam in that turn for this one. Might want to edit in Chick hitting McQueen. I might have to do that. I still have to probably tweak the track grip settings a little bit if I'm and the grass grip if I can do that. If I'm gonna be able to get the slide going for as long as McQueen had it and still be able to have enough traction coming out of it. I could try turning traction control on. But that's going to slow me way down, and that's just going to prevent me from sliding in the first place. So I don't know if turning traction control on is going to help versus just turning the grip up in the track I and I just little by little to try to achieve the desired results of being able to get a controlled slide going on that I can still power out of. turn contact is made which I guess I'll have to edit in later the queen goes spinning come on power out of it no darn it no not yet yeah that grass grip I'm probably gonna have to turn up And I don't know with uh, going this fast and how there's basically no banking where the grass is, I don't know how I'm going to be able to slide through the grass at that angle for that long. This is going to be a tricky one indeed. Just 
just goes to show a credit to show to Queen Skill. Jesus Christ, that was not a sentence. Danico. Can't remember what Chick's sponsor is. Let's see. Oh, yeah. HTB. I forgot what that stood for. can't be in first. Oh, I gave the king a little push. Alright, here comes the queen. Alright, chick blocks him. Nope. So many overcorrections back into that outside wall. so could have been avoided. Alright, next. Alright, so yeah, I'm probably a few more tries I will turn the grip up. I just wanted to try just a couple more without cheating too much by turning the grip way up. Thought I'd try legitimately for a little bit. What racing wheel do you use? Logitech G920. Yeah. I thought that was, came out of my mouth wrong at first, but yeah, no, that's right. Logitech G920. I believe I have it down in the description, down in the bottom. issue with my throttle recently. It's starting to glitch out where even though I have it pressed down all the way it like doesn't register as being down all the way. It'll like kind of flicker if you know what I mean. Alright, a fake hit from Chick. Drift. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Save it, save it, save it. No. Keep it off the wall. Oh, just a little tap. I'd be able to continue racing after that. That wouldn't be day-ending damage. But still, not the reenactment we needed. I guess Chopper, in this view, is going to be the... At this track, is going to be the best view since we can't get really a better one. I'm probably also going to have to turn the AI uh, difficulty down more than I thought. Because I forgot I need to still get in front of the AI cars after the slide, which isn't looking feasible so far. So I'm actually just going to turn the grip up right now, which I, and I just realized I can't turn the AI grip down, or AI grip, AI difficulty down much more than I already have. So I already have the California 06 folder pulled up. Let's go into the track I and I. A little bit of nerd stuff, behind the scenes stuff for those of you that don't know this game too much and don't know what's going on right here. Just tweaking the settings. Alright, asphalt and grip, let's turn that up to just a little bit more. We'll do point two everything. See, I already have grass grip here, but I don't know if it's registering. Try point, 1.8. Where's the AI grip? I'm going to turn their stuff down a little bit too. AI Excel. How is that that far down already? I guess I tweaked this in the past and don't remember. Alright. So let's see if doing that does anything. Exit out of here. Load the game back up. Is the chat frozen? I 
can't tell, but just to be safe, I'll hit refresh. Alright, and just right back into the same settings we had before. Shoot. Actually, let's see if turning the grip up a little bit helps power through the drift before we turn the computer difficulty down at all. Got helicopters zipping around. All right, so we got a little more grip this time, so I can. A little bit more chance to come out of a slide if I get sideways. That chick took way too long, so I'm not going to come out in front of the king this time. So, pretend she hit me there. Except I couldn't even get sideways to begin with. That was the problem with another problem with turning the grip up. I'm gonna try to get Chick back up to the king and try this on lap two. Whoa! I got loose on my own that time. Screw you, chick. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. That one was a bust. God darn it. Alright, so I need to make sure going into the first turn that chick isn't too far behind. Because I need the those two cars to be right next to each other. Because if I happen to get a good enough slide, I need to make sure when I'm coming out of it I'm I end up in front of them. That is going to be the difficult part. Alright, I'm actually checking on something as well. Alright, we're right at 2400. Not too many drop frames. Well, in the grand scheme of things, that sounds like a lot at first, but that's only 2% of the entire video. Which hopefully that keeps dropping down. So hopefully we won't have any more. That's right, that ended when I stopped the upload. Just Checking back in on that. Alright, we can't have Chick be too far behind, but we also can't have him get ahead. He needs to be like right next to him, but a little bit behind. Alright, so. Alright, so we can pretend Chick hit me right there. Come on. Well, I think I turned the. I think I turned the grass grip up a little too high. I can't get sideways in the grass at all. might have to readjust those settings that I just changed. This is such a creepy view with this MIP add-on, those windshield eyes. Maybe 
we try this in the same same view I've been using for iRacing Dirt the last couple days. Maybe I'll have better luck. Bumps me right there. Come on, slide, slide. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come out of it. No. Darn it. Still nothing. That one was probably the closest I had yet until I lost it. Except I have no idea how I'm going to get the AI to slow down enough to stay behind me while I'm drifting. I need to be coming out of it, like, right here. So that's where it looked like in the movie. Like the... Where it straightens out and coming out of turn two. Going on the back stretch is where he was coming out of the drift and powering in front of the other cars. Yeah, what the hell's all being said? All I keep seeing is every other chat being deleted. Better be actually spam. too slow right now, but then they're going too fast in the turn when I need them to be going slow so I can stay in front of them. Oops. I don't know if that counts as a slide through the grass. Yeah, I definitely need to change the grip settings again. Take out Chick first. I'm just gonna need to go a little faster. Now take out Chick. No! Come back here. I know this is useless at this point. I just want to crash chick. Clear outside. There, got him. And there goes the king to take the checkered flag. Like it should have been. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna exit out and change the grip settings again real quick. Sorry, a little more behind the scenes stuff. I'll be really quick with it this time since I already showed it once. Alright, I'm turning the grass grip to 0.6 midway what I had it before. I had it at 1.4 before I changed it, and then I turned it to 1.8. That feels like too much. Now I'll turn it midway. AI grip. Turn that down just a little bit. Just trying to figure out what can slow them down in the turns a little bit so they're not going as fast because I need to stay in front of them during the drift. Save it three times. Out. Load the game back up. Ow. Readjust my posture so I don't destroy my tailbone. Oh, 
Oops, why am I changing that? Everything's the same, except we might turn that down a little bit more if I'm trying to get the AI cars to go a little slower in the turns. Alright, sorry, the boring stuff over, back to the reenactment, and yes, I'll get out of cockpit view, because I know a lot of you can I recreate video watchers don't like that. I usually save the in-car view for the actual races, like it should be. Yeah, that's their slower acceleration. Let them turn down. Oh, they're going really slow with that. They're not even keeping pace with the pace car. Chat's frozen. Okay, sorry. Thank you for reminding me. Alright. Taken care of. Alright, that's much quicker to do it this way now. And actually this might be better having Chick on the inside in first place. So then I can be alongside of him like right here. From the start. I guess technically as long as I don't pass any of these cars before the start finish line, it's not a black flag. I need to make sure Chick doesn't get ahead of the king. There we go. Oh, sorry. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, darn it. It's looking better though. I think the settings are closer to what I need. Because it seemed like I had a lot more control over the drift in the grass before I came around too far and lost it. I think if I wasn't sliding as much before I got into the grass, that could have been feasible. Through that, McQueen. Get ready now. Going green. That's right, the race at Michigan. I have a few Michigan related streams coming up for this upcoming week. Yeah, screw your black flag. You can't pass the king. We all have to be bunched up together. Darn it. Uh-oh. Oh. I almost tipped over there. So I think I need to start drifting. Like, right at this road and come out at this opening right here for it to be a fair reenactment and I keep spinning a little too much. I mean I need to change to like 1.65? I don't know. the chat frozen or is everyone just timed out? <laughs> I think everyone's just timed out. I 
what all the other settings I'd need to change. I think I just might need to get a little better at the attempts. I think it's all on me at this point. Other than maybe turn the AI difficulty down just a little bit more. I don't know what else I could do to... Oh, darn it. That one was actually good because they both hit the wall too. So they slowed down. So if I could have stayed in that and came out of it straightened out. Oh, that was perfect. Because they were both weaving and wobbling. Darn it. If I would have saved that, that one would have been perfect. Yeah, let's... I just thought of a really good view I can use for this reenactment for the replays. Right here. So they're sitting there wrecking themselves. And if I could have just... Oh, darn it. So close. Driver, start your but I think engine. being like three wide when I start the spin and kind of bumping into them at first, forcing them up into the wall, that might be, I might be onto something there. Because that might slow them down and make it seem like they're wrecking or spinning. Turn up the tire wear. Okay, I'll try that after the next time I adjust the other settings, if I change anything else. <laughs> Screw the 86 car. I don't pass him, it's not a black flag. There we go. Now I slow him down. I'm gonna get us all three wide. Oh, ho, ho. almost kept it off the wall though. This one is getting difficult. I might have to turn the grass grip up just a little bit more. I think I turned it down just a little too much. Because once... Because before, when I was getting into the grass, it seemed like I couldn't get sideways no matter how hard I tried. And this time, now, when I'm getting into the grass, I'm just... just it's just a little too loose. So maybe 1.65 or 1.7 I need to turn the track uh, grass grip to. And also, DC Gaming, I believe, mentioned turning the tire wear up. Which I could try that as well. In a couple more attempts, I'll try tweaking a few more settings. Tweaking the settings! Every time I say tweaking the settings, I just picture saying it in like a Kip voice from the point anyway. Tweaking the settings? I don't know why. Hurry up, chick. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna... Oops. No. no. <laughs> the chick and the king were stuck together for a little bit there. I thought the king was wrecked for sure. attempt and then I'll
try tweaking a few more settings. I'll try turning the track grip up just by like maybe a half a point. Or like 0 0.5. No, not 0 0.5. Like 0 0.05. Whatever it's more than it's at. And the same thing with the grass grip. in 15 minutes so the reenactment compilation is posted I'm gonna keep these guys right side by side Oops. Oops, oops. no well oh, that's the first rollover of this video. I overcorrected. And I took out the king, too. I didn't really have a good drift going, but I overcorrected anyway. And then I took out the king. And the chick got me. Messed my nose all up. And my shoe. I know I said one more, but this will be the last time before I try tweaking, tweaking a couple settings. Dinosaurs? What do they make? Do they run dino tests with cars? Darn it, now the king got two ahead in this one. Oh. That hurt. Well, that wasn't, um... <laughs> that wasn't the uh, reenactment we needed. Completely separate, but related. Do you know what that reminded me of? At the same track? That reminded me of Brad Kozlowski's 07 Nationwide Wreck. When I drilled the outside wall in turns one and two and flew into the air and kind of got launched by another car right after it happened. Anyone with me on that? Brad Kozlowski's 07 wreck? A little bit? Drivers, start your engines! At least I have the settings recorded on camera if I need to figure out what settings I'm going to use to try to reenact that wreck. I was riding along the wall for a little bit longer. And yes, I know Kozlowski wasn't up on two wheels before he hit the wall, but I didn't say it was perfect. Get ready now. Going green. Oh, damn, I was going to change the settings. I 
keep getting distracted. Alright, so back in here, oops, hopefully for the last time. Alright, turn this up by, like I said, point zero five for each one of these. And grass grip. Do eight, actually, not quite. Point eight, but one point six eight. All right, let's see what those two things do. Oh, I said turn the tire wear down too. Track tire wear. I don't know what that's gonna do, so I'm just gonna turn it down by a little bit. Save, save, save. All right, exit out of here. Okay, load the game back up. Ow. Tire grip, is that a thing? I'm sure it is. I'll have to change that next time. God damn it, I just reloaded the game. We'll see if I have any better luck with the changes I just made. Oh great, we got the nerdy guy doing the race call. The start your engine announcement. Drivers, start your engines! Awesome, we're gonna have to hear that now every attempt. Lessons I learned from Doc to help with my drifting skills in this moment. Just don't pass, and it's not a black flag. Perfect. You stay Doc. Or Doc. Not Doc. The king. So I'll have to edit it in. Well, that one was... Jesus Christ, that one was a bust. I was more focused on trying to get uh, the, the two other cars positioned side by side, and then I was already too late into the turn by the time I needed to start drifting. Unfortunately, like I said before, you can't have Chick and the King's car in their correct body styles as long as I'm using this mod with this paint scheme. The only way I could do that, if someone built, basically built a mod from scratch with this game where the four different body styles are the four separate body, or the three separate body styles in the movie for these cars, which I don't think anyone has that kind of time. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just trying to keep these guys side by side. Well, what happens now? I took out all three of us. Now it's a race back to the line. It's like the ending of Talladega Nights. I have to run to the finish line. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Screw you, chick. 
Yeah, I got him upside down. Awesome. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Can you tell I'm bored already? Well, not already. We're almost an hour into the stream. Like I have been doing for all the other Cars ones, I'm probably going to go an hour and a half. You're welcome. I did get Chick upside down. Awesome. Just briefly, but enough. Start the engines. God, I'm gonna have to hear that every time. <laughs> go King Go. Drifting skills aren't on point, or I'm just not finding the right settings to be able to drift properly in the grass. I don't care about the black flag, I'm just worrying about positioning them properly. Which means getting in front of them and slowing one or the other down. Looks good right now. Invisible hit. And crappy spin. <sighs> Darn it. The yellow flag is out. There's too Oops. much debris on the track. As I go f flying through a fence and take out like 30 spectators. It's too much debris. Start your engines. Did the chat freeze again? Oops. I hit a five too late. There we go. We can look at my tire info though. Hung throttle there. Get ready now. Go on green. Wait for our van. Green flag, green flag. Green, green. Pass and it's not a black flag. Now I can pass. Oh, darn it. Looks like it's the King's Race again. <laughs> Alright, and I'm bored, so I'm gonna take out Chick before the next attempt. Oops. My second gear. Looks like Chick is gaining on the King. Not if I have anything to do about it. Oh, I missed him. Torrent, <laughs> I missed him. By inches. Look at him. He thinks he's so stealthily sneaking through that hit. Super slow motion. Ah. Uh. Like by a foot, foot and a half, I missed his back end. Uh, drivers, start your engines. Okay? Start the engines. <laughs> oh, if I have to, I might change the setting soon. If I have to hear that for another half of an hour, half of an hour, half an hour. Was on. I was wondering I was going, to go back. going so far back. 
Why can I not talk and do the simplest things? Like race a pace lap at once. Spun me. Second gear again. Oh, this is getting frustrating. I apologize, guys. Maybe if I didn't suck at driving so much, maybe these videos would be a little more successful. I'm not going to miss Chick this time. He thinks he's going to take the checkered flag. He's wrong. I think the king plowed into him and Chick actually finished ahead of the king flipping. I'm not kidding. We'll have to see what happens here, but it looks like Chick started flipping and then the king drilled the flipping Chick and sent him across the finish line. I could be wrong. We'll have to see what happens right here. Nope. That's exactly what happened. Or not across the finish line, but he still finished ahead of the king. Because the king went right into him. Darn it. A driver's star. Start! Alright, I froze the chat because I saw it paused. change the settings any more than I have. So I'm going to stay with the settings I have for the next 25 minutes. Get ready now. Going green. Speaking of back pain. Flag. I'm just going ahead so I can block these guys and keep them as close to each other as possible. Alright, invisible hit right there. Punt, 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 punt. Oh. Yeah, I kept it off the wall. Take a ride in the infield through the invisible safety truck and see what's all around here. I'm going to take a little tour. Some more invisible safety vehicles. This is going to be exciting when we get back down to where the pits are. Can you tell I'm getting bored? Ooh. Now we can explore in here. There's all the haulers. There's all the garages. All the parking. Oh, there's the wall right here. Yeah, this line right here is the wall. As you can see. Oops. We do a bunch of RVs. And into the wall. Too much debris on the track. <laughs> Accidentally took out like a picnic area full of people right there. That corner. 
I couldn't see where I was going until right there. <laughs> Next. I got to see a little glitch there. <laughs> going through all the RVs. Starting to really hurt. No black flag this time. Perfect. Three wide. And a three car battle for the lead. Shoot. Alright, invisible hit. I was feathering the throttle that time and it didn't work. I just don't think I have the grass grip at the right settings, similar to dirt in real life. Drivers, start the engines. What I think of you, chick. Alright, perfect side by side so far. Just so I can try to. Do that. <laughs> so many failed attempts. It's starting to just get sad. My racing wheel is starting to get really warm. I can't let Chick win. King must win. I need to take out Chick. I think I barely clipped him. I thought I got him. I didn't want to hit the king. We'll have to see this one in super slow motion. Oh, I think I just barely missed him again. Oh, you see the sparks? I clipped him. I probably got like, probably just scraped like a tiny little section of paint of his sheet metal. That's how little I clipped him. Probably took like a tiny little piece of paint of his right rear corner panel, or right left corner. Eh, right left, left rear quarter panel. <laughs> I 
Come back. Shoot. That was the closest thing I've gotten to a drift and save, but I was obviously nowhere near being ahead of them when I came out of the drift. And that wasn't for nearly as long as it should have been. And it wasn't nearly as sideways, but... In grass, I'm not going to get that sideways. That only works with clay. Weathers, Chicks, McQueen, Le McQueen. That sounds like a French dish. Le McQueen. Oh. Get ready now. Going green. I need to get like a ten thousand dollar chair. Just made out of like memory foam and goose feathers and goose tears. Just make the most comfortable chair ever. I tried turning right immediately and feathering. Throttle. Oh, the king took out Chick. Look at that. Watch me pass Chick before we get to the start finish line. What should happen? Stick my tongue out and jump. Alright, got it. Immediately into the inside wall and kill my car. Ouch. <sighs> I'm starting to get bored. I'm not necessarily bored, just losing motivation. Losing energy. I need to eat something. Low on fluids. Day 76, things are looking grim. Sorry, I don't know what I'm rambling about. I'm probably just going to go an hour 20 this time, so for another 5 minutes or so. Because my back is really starting to kill me, it's like tightening up. I need to get up and walk around. I need to start cleaning. Do the rest of my to-do list today. Once again, less than 2 hours now, an hour 45. Stay tuned for my upload coming then. The ultimate NASCAR Racing 2003 reenactment compilation. Every single reenactment I've done to date. And one hour and 20 long video. Hour minute. An hour and 20 minute long. Jesus Christ, Cody. Video all in chronological order. The one that took place in real life. And a couple. Well, no. And a couple never before seen work in progress reenactments that you guys have never. No one's ever seen before. That was uh, probably the world's slowest rollover. Close to maybe Kyle Bush's in the 2015... Was that 15 or 16 race? The Daytona wreck where he went upside down in the Coke Zero 400. Uh, drivers! Start your engines! Up and over.
I should at some point do a race with just these three cars at this track like an actual race that would be kind of cool would anyone watch that just not trying to crash just doing the race just three drivers winner takes the piston cup going to be the third to last attempt. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your future, your suggestions for future videos down in the comments below. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. I really appreciate all the support from you guys. Keep it up and the videos will keep on coming. King! How dare you? Keep it off the wall. Looks like Chick has a run on the King from what I saw going down the backstretch. Is the King going to stay in front of Chick? They're like neck and neck from what I can see on the split times. I need to take out Chick before he gets to the start finish line. You ain't crossing the start finish line today, Chick. <laughs> As a fire truck was flying by outside my house. Alright, second to last attempt. I need to figure out what better settings I need to change the grass in this INI to to replicate clay drifting a little bit better. And maybe slow the AI cars down a little bit more. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I will do my research before part two. Remember me and a buddy who used to, uh, in Dirt to Daytona for GameCube, like back probably 12, 13, 14 years ago, would play split screen Dirt to Daytona. One of us would race, and the other would just go backwards, taking out all the other AI cars, so we would, be, we would win by like plus 10 laps. side by side Come on. how did my car spin that sideways that quickly all right since I can't really do a backwards wreck and take out a huge field since it's only these three cars for the piston cup I guess the next best thing is each failed attempt I do I can go backwards and take out chick I don't know if I'm going to get him before the start finish line this time. Actually, no, I think I got it. Maybe. Just shy that time, too. Well, I'm t that's timed perfectly. Stopping him just shy of the finish line. I am not coming in behind you again, old man. Uh, yeah, you are. You know what the funniest part is? He was past the king, too. He actually had a little bit of ground on him. And he was gonna take the position at the start finish line until. Nope! <laughs> Alright, guys, last attempt. Hopefully, I get some sort of fluke. Miracle drift and come out ahead of these two guys in this attempt. But if not, I'm gonna have to do a part two and I will do my research a little bit better on what I need to have the grass settings set to in this game to better replicate real life clay, dirt, oval drifting, racing. I 
once again, let me know your suggestions for future videos once the the stream is done processing, or if you're watching this well after it's live, just let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see me do for future videos. I'm always up for new suggestions. And also make sure to check out my social media links. I'm on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. So if you are on any of those as well and want to follow Cody H Gaming, check out the links in the description for some behind the scenes look at what goes on in my life no <laughs> oh. alright I can still take out Chick one last time he, he got the lead that time alright so I'm gonna need to change the settings for part two for this one a little bit better drifting settings Alright, Chick is in front. Go. Right back to the line. Who's gonna win? Do I win? No. The King wins since I'm a lap behind them. The King finished in front, technically. Since I was a lap behind. And that's how the race for the Piston Cup ends. Alright, that is it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. Check out my social media links, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook down in the description. Also check out previous videos of mine if you enjoyed this one. And that's about it. Hope to catch you all at the next video, or stream I should say. Until then, hope you all have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye.